Alright world, we about to get into something Because there's a lot of division I see I see that people are like Seeming like they're confused And because The mass majority of what I see in Reality is me This is a reminder for myself So I can look back in the mirror This is the Bible and I know I've read this multiple times But as a conversational magician Once again this is a reminder for me To make sure that I use my words correctly And In a way that is uniform To connect with the majority of people or at least the people that I would want to build with to see God. Because this is exactly what this is. This is about the failure of man under the Noahic covenant. So just to bring y'all where I'm at in Genesis chapter 11. Man has already been created. Adam and Eve. Man has already failed out of the good graces of God. Right? Then, not only that. The first man has been killed, Adam, by his own brother. Plus, God has looked at, like, damn, what have I created? So, he has sent the message to Noah to start building an ark. And the whole deluge, the flood of the world has already happened. And it was like only eight people to restart the earth. You know what I'm saying? So, because it was Noah, his wife, and his three sons, or four sons, and they, uh, yeah, three sons. That's right, right? Yeah, it was eight people. Um, three sons and they wives to repopulate the earth, and that animals was two by two, all that, right? So now we hear in chapter 11 of Genesis, and I'm going to read this. Because it's a key for me as a reminder of like when I attempt to connect with people, with my business, on here on this internet, the words I use to describe my current situation or my past and definitely to propel me forward in my future, right? And hey, if there's any pastors, preachers, Theologians, those that know the word for show, what I'm about to read, break that down because I'm about, I'm about to dig deep into this right now. Balcony Chronicles. So it says, chapter 11, and the whole earth was of one language and of one speech. And it came to pass as they journeyed from the east that they found a plain. In the land of Shinar And they dwelt there And they said one to another Go let us make brick And burn them thoroughly And they had brick for stone And slime had they for mortar And they said Go to let us build us a city And a tower Whose top may reach unto heaven and let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the whole earth. So they was looking, people was all speaking one language. So however word, dialect, tone, uh, articulation, however I speak, just think that everybody else speaks that same language. There's no breakdown in Japanese, Chinese, Mandarin, Spanish, Espanol, Ebonics. None of that exists. Just everybody speaks one. Everybody speaks Lorenzo, right? And you, we're, everybody's able to understand and comprehend what Lorenzo is to the point where they said that they were going to build a brick city tower into heaven so that they would have a name for themselves like they would be 
Like literally one with God, right? So I'm going to finish reading this before I break this down because this is interesting. And the Lord came down to see the city and the tower which the children of men built. And the Lord said, on balcony chronicles but no distractions and the Lord said behold the people is one and they have all one language and this they begin to do and now nothing will be restrained from them which they imagined to do go to let us go down there and confound their language that they may not understand one another's speech. So the Lord scattered them abroad from thence upon the face of all the earth. And they left off to build the city. Therefore is the name of it called Babel. Because the Lord did there confound the language of all the earth. And from thence did the Lord scatter them from abroad upon earth the face of all the earth right so then everybody went upon their own generations tribes and all of that that's Genesis chapter 11 so by the Bible by what the Bible is saying just by what the Bible is saying first there's a story about this tower that the people said they, they, they all spoke one language they spoke Lorenzo. However, I come across the articulation, how everybody's able to speak. It's all the same. I'm, a, I'm comprehending it all the same. We all go say, let's build a brick and mortar building. A physical building? All right, let's say it's a physical building, like this Balcony Chronicle joint I'm in. We all get together and start building this tower. And then the Lord said that, now this is the Lord that says later on in the Bible too that he's not a God of confusion. But because I'm building a building with my people that all speak the same language as me, Lorenzo, the Lord said he gonna confuse us. And now because we don't speak the same language like Mandarin, Spanish, Ebonics, Chinese, Japanese, whatever. Lorenzo, you don't speak that language, you don't comprehend. <laughs> and because you don't comprehend, we can't see God. Because that before all that, they was building a building, a brick and mortar, let's say like this building, up to the heavens. Now also, I know for sure that the Bible is like meant for metaphors and things like that so I've heard people say let's say they're talking about building up you know you've heard the, the saying in the Bible that the body is the temple of God right so if the body is the temple of God and you build in a temple the same way they build in this city and tower then that means there's a two sides to you, which we know that this is true and is like warring. But if you are able to start able to uh, get it on the one language where it's comprehended, you can see God. Then I hear that say that none of this is true. This, this was just a crazy story. <laughs> To make you be like, damn, we'll never be together. Because if God split us up in the beginning, then, I mean, it is what it is. Like the like the the days, you know, one day he created this and this and that, and then he took a rest. So because God did it, we just always going to be confused. But this is the reason why I have to make this recording. And put this out here 
at least for a reminder for myself that all I'm looking for and doing or really when I connect to people is to be balanced inside myself, have already built a temple, a tower, a city to God. Have a name for myself, right? Exclude the ego, because they was like, they was doing it for like a name for themselves. No, I'm doing it because this even right here says that if if we excluded all of that and just wanted to be not confused, what's the opposite of not being confused? Knowing, clear, comprehending. If we just wanted to know all by what the Bible say, all we needed all we need to do is come together and like on one accord, speaking one language having the ability to comprehend and we can build a physical city and tower to the heavens. <laughs> y'all tell me what y'all think. I might put this out here. Just Y'all let me know. Am I tripping? <laughs> I've read this Bible m m many, many times and I know I'm not tripping. That God for sure, whoever the Lord is, ain't who he's saying he is. Because he did say he he was not a God of confusion. So off rip, he said, the Lord came down to the city. He said, let us, let us, the Lord said, behold, the people is one. He see, He's seeing this and have one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they imagine to do. So prior to God, the Lord, whomever this is, confusing language, whatever you were able to imagine, you could just do it. <laughs> Man, go to let us go down and therefore confound a language that they may not understand one another's speech. So off rip, all I need to do to be able to create that which I imagine is understand for any, at least if anything, at the least common denominator, the speech I have with myself. Yep. Because then I can do whatever I want to out here, for real. And if I find other people that are doing something similar to that, we can connect and build on that. But that's what the Bible is saying. That's what I'm reading. Y'all tell me if, if y'all reading something different. But I know for sure it says that the Lord said, Behold, the people are one. They is one. And they have all one language. And this they begin to do. And now nothing will be restrained from them which they have imagined. So all I need to do is be with one language inside of my mind, inside of myself. Comprehend the speech that I have with myself. The reason I make these videos. <laughs> and then whatever I imagine to do, I can do it. And God knows this too. <laughs> if he didn't, he wouldn't have told me. <laughs> Hey, for sure, though. I hope this is enough. It feels like it's enough. I definitely have been having this on my mind about the Tower of Babel and how sometimes I'm long-winded and it may come off as, as if I'm babbling, rambling, a babbling brook, whatever. Ram, random rambles. But I just thought that this was important. Y'all read that in Genesis chapter 11. Y'all let me know what y'all think. <laughs>